The founder of Nock University in Kacha, Kaduna State, Mr. Anthony Hassan, says the institution is set to offer science-oriented courses to equip graduates with requisite skills for self-employment. Hassan disclosed this at the brief ceremony after receiving the license of the university from the National Universities Commission, NUC, in Abuja. I'm equally happy when I saw the kind of courses that the university was given to start with. I felt, yes, this is. I went through a CBS anatomy, physiology, medical and lab, lab, uh, sciences, architecture, quantities of air. Nursing, cyber security, biochemistry, biotechnology, and also others. I think those are the areas that the younger generations need to go into. Because, like I've always said, when you go to school now, you go to sharpen your, your skills so that whatever you go into, you'll be able to do better. In her remarks, Mrs. Phoebe Yai, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education in Kaduna State, said that the Kaduna State Government was proud of the founder of the institution. I'm here on behalf of the government and the good people of Kaduna State to tell you, sir, that we are really proud. We are proud and we are very proud. And I know at any point in time, on several occasions, I have met with the governor and the, the issue of Chief Tony Hassan comes up, or the issue of Nock University comes up, he said, he is making us proud. And therefore, on behalf of the people and government of Kaduna said, I wish you well, and I wish all of us well, and I wish the university well. And in a short while, we will be talking more and more and more progress about the university. Earlier, Richard General Martin Luther Agwe, a former Chief of Defense Staff, advised the university to give special attention to research into NAC culture and civilization. The name of the university should be the first thing that we want to achieve in the, uh, in the next five years. That where NOC itself, the civilization reach. The university in the next five years to cover that civilization and that area. Then, as we are celebrating the first decade of the university, we should be known not only in that area, geographical area, but in the continent of Africa. Similarly, Matthew Kuka. Bishop of Roman Catholic Diocese of Sokoto and Chairman, Board of Trustees of the University, urged all stakeholders to make the needed sacrifice to ensure development of the institution. And all of us who are here, each and every one of us, has become an apostle, not a disciple, an apostle of this university. Talk about it to your friends. Not necessarily because they are only to keep the university. Everybody's contribution will come in different ways, whether it's through prayer or by whatever means. But this news is too good for us to keep to ourselves. I have been my own little way trying to spread the news as much as possible. Uh, so I can only end by saying this dream came through an individual, but the dream does not belong to an individual. 